My name is Blair Martin. I am one of the St. John's Cathedral community and one of the people who puts together our labyrinth walk and meditation on the first Sunday of each month. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners on the land on which I am standing today, the Turrbal and Yagara people of the Yugara Nation. I acknowledge their elders, past, present and emerging. I acknowledge that the land and the waters of and around this land is theirs. Sovereignty was never ceded. You can see our seven circuit Chartres style labyrinth behind me. Today, I'm the only one able to walk it. However, there are ways that you can walk the labyrinth. As we say, there is no right or wrong way to walk a labyrinth. In my hand, I have something that our cathedral shop has. This is a replica of the Chartres labyrinth, probably the most famous medieval labyrinth. This is the full circuit. There is a stylus with it, and you can follow the stylus in the grooves as you would walking. On the cathedral website, and links here on this video, you'll be able to download a finger labyrinth. You can print this out or use it on your tablet or even computer and use your finger to trace where you are walking. We hope that in this time of surreal dislocation, you will be able to find connection in our labyrinth walk today. Today's focus is on World Labyrinth Day, which is held annually on the second day of May. You will find the meditation notes on the links that have been provided. I also use Anglican prayer beads based on the older style of rosary, but also Orthodox Christianity has a similar method, and many other faith traditions as well also use a form of meditation. I will be using these as my own personal meditation device as I walk the labyrinth. Whatever you use will be best for you. Thus says the Lord, stand at the crossroads and look and ask for the ancient paths where the good way lies and walk in it and find rest for your souls. We see the sacred. It calls to each of us. It is the still, small voice echoing in the depths of our being. It is a voice of love that embraces all that we are without judgment. Here in this space, let your thoughts focus on the sacred. God is here in your midst. God has been present throughout your life journey. Relax in God's presence. Let God in. Open yourself completely. Be real. Stay in this moment in the gentle embrace of the God who loves you and listen to the voice of God speaking in the depth of your being. God is here for you. Embrace God. Before we walk the labyrinth together, I'd like to offer a prayer that was written by St. Columba of Iona. 
There is also something else you can do with this prayer, and it is called praying the body. This is an ancient tradition. I believe it is a way of combining the prayer that you feel within you, in your mind, in your heart, with the rest of your body. The prayer of St. Columba of Iona has various parts which I believe can be adapted to praying the body. So, we will begin this way. My dearest Lord, be thou a bright flame before me, be thou a guiding star above me, be thou a smooth path beneath me, be thou a kindly shepherd behind me, this day and forevermore. Amen. Please walk the labyrinth in your own time and speed. And now together, we will close the labyrinth using this meditation. I pray that as you'd entered the labyrinth, you were able to release all that is troubling you. And as, as you left the labyrinth, you left behind all the cares and worries and went forward 
with some new insight, a warmer peace, and a greater love. Let us say this together. Peace comes from knowing and seeing God in the people around us, in the wonders of creation, in the life we live. Peace also comes from recognizing the God within. Take a moment to relax in the comfort of the chair before you. From here, you can look back at the pathway that you have walked. Reflect for a moment on your labyrinth journey. Moments of letting go, moments of revelation, moments of sadness, moments of joy, moments of peace, moments of affirmation, moments of God. Life is filled with moments of God. See the dove before you flying into the sun. It flies freely, surrounded by light. May your spirit fly free, and may God's light surround you. Go in peace, and know that you do not walk this path of life alone. This blessing is from the Lindisfarne Scriptorum, written by Mary and Mark Fleeson. As I follow you today, Lord, let me, your creation, discover how to be creative. As I follow you today, Lord, let me, your child, begin to understand how I am precious. As I follow you today, Lord, let me, your new saint, learn sacrifice and wisdom. As I follow you today, Lord, let me, your beloved, accept love from others and give love in return. And for the grace, these words from the Hebrew Bible, which we call the Old Testament. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face be made to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May God's countenance be lifted upon us and give us peace this day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me and all those who have walked this labyrinth today. We will again walk this labyrinth on the first Sunday in June and the first Sunday in July and all the first Sundays throughout this year. Whether it is by this method or whether we can gather again under the rose window in the cathedral where our labyrinth normally sits. May God bless you and keep you. Maranatha. Maranatha.